Allow me to introduce Codistral, the new large language model released from Mistral AI. Mistral is an excellent company that creates open source large language models, and Codistral is specifically designed for software coding. It aims to serve as an automated co-pilot for programmers to develop software. You can run this right now with support for over 80 programming languages, all of which it can handle fluently. Codistral was trained especially well on Python, Java, C, C++, JavaScript, and Bash, and it also performs exceptionally well with Shift and Forth. For Codistral, they are currently offering instruction and completion API endpoints. So they've opened up these API endpoints for you to call as a service. You can use your Mistral AI account to log in and request access to these large language models tailored for coding. As you can see here, it's a 22 billion parameter model. This places it in the mid-range compared to other coding-focused competitors currently on the market, and its context length is an impressive 32,000 tokens, really outperforming the other three competitors shown here. The Codalama 70B has just 4,000 tokens, DeepCoder is at 16,000, and even the massive Lambda Llama 370B is limited to only 8,000 token context. So that 32,000 token context window is a major advantage. This means you can input larger GitHub or Hugging Face program projects, and it can process more of the code base with that wider context window, helping you complete tasks faster, essentially. You can also see that it outperforms humans on several benchmarks. And this spider one is something to note. That's not a normal programming language, but rather SQL queries for databases. Codestral is performing almost on par with the Lambda Llama 370B on that SQL task. But one key point is that the Lambda Llama 370B is way larger in terms of total parameter size, clocking in at 370 billion, while Codestral is only 22 billion currently. So even though Codestral is less than half the parameter size of Lambda Llama 3, it's still able to achieve 63% on the Spider SQL benchmark, while Lambda Llama 3 scored 67%. That's really close in performance, despite the much smaller model size for Codestral. Now let's look at how it performs on other specific programming languages tested here. As you can see, Python, Bash, Java, PHP, TypeScript, and C. Yaus. For most of those, particularly Python, Java, PHP, and Bash. Codestral outperformed the three other large language models currently on the market, and its overall human involved score of 61.5% just barely surpasses even the massive Lambda Llama 370B model. It seems to have been trained exceptionally well on Python right now. Currently, the human-involved benchmark for Python is 81.1%, and Codestral way outperforms the other three models on that benchmark. It's also ahead by 2-3% on the Java and PHP benchmarks compared to those other LLMs. That's really impressive considering Codestral is only 22 billion parameters currently. Once they increase the parameter count to 50 or 60 billion, it will likely outperform all of them comprehensively but we'll have to wait and see on that front. As highlighted, Codestral has outperformed human eval on benchmarks for Python, JavaScript, and Java already, and the DeepCoder model didn't even come close in comparison. So this is really a nice open source language model, specifically focused and optimized for coding tasks. With an overall 91% human involved score, that's insanely good performance. We'll have to try it out ourselves, of course, rather than just trusting the benchmarks. But seeing JavaScript at 95% is very promising for web development work if you have a lot of JavaScript-heavy web pages. Using Codestral as an AI coding assistant could be extremely valuable there. So where can you try this new language model? First, it's available to download on Hugging Face. But looking at their page, the model file is a hefty 44 GB download, which most consumer machines likely can't handle locally. For practical use with good speed, I'd suggest trying it via Mistral's official LeChat interface. On LeChat, Codestral is already available to play around with just like ChatGPT and other web-based language model interfaces. 
you can select the Codestral model and start asking coding questions or pasting existing code, JavaScript, or any supported language. Maybe you need to debug and fix an error. You can leverage it as a coding tool that way too. It could be really handy for debugging and even building software from scratch using the language model's capabilities. Next, as mentioned, you can access Codestral as an API endpoint. The API is available at api.mistral.ai, but you'll need API keys first. According to their docs, you have to contact their sales team to get enabled on their lab platform service for accessing and using the API. Once you get access enabled for the Codestral model, I believe the first month of usage is free currently to try it out before potential commercial pricing kicks in later so you all should check it out, either via the LeadChat interface or by requesting API access if you want to integrate it into your own applications and workflow. This release really seems like an exciting starting point for Mistral in developing coding-focused large language models. It's a great specialized offering in that domain. Before wrapping up, let's try out an actual coding problem to see how Codestral performs filter for JavaScript very hard difficulty problems and grab one to test out. Okay, I've got a bug fixing problem here with test cases. Let me copy it over to LeChat to see if Codistral can solve this JavaScript coding challenge. So in response, the model is providing some pseudocode explaining an efficient exponentiation by squaring algorithm to calculate modular exponentiation more efficiently. It then provides the actual code implementation in Python. Okay, let me ask it to convert that Python code to JavaScript instead. Great. Now we have the JavaScript function it generated to solve this problem. Let's see if it passes the test cases. All right. The testing setup is ready with the modified code. It should simulate the expected outputs already shown here. Let's copy this code and see if it works for the test cases. I'll paste it in and hit check. Hmm, it didn't fully pass. Let's see what's going on. Okay, it partially got through, but one of the test cases still failed as expected. For questions at this very hard level focused on bug fixing, even large language models like ChatGPT can struggle and barely pass some of them. Let's try another very hard JavaScript question instead. I'll create a new problem, copy and paste it, then query the AI model again for a potential solution. Okay, it generated a set of functions as a possible solution approach. Let's test it out. And we got a pass. So for more straightforward implementation questions like this, following the instructions, these high performance models, can generally solve challenges at the very hard difficulty level. But for bug fixing and debugging tasks specifically, the results can be hit or miss depending on the response generation. It seems the Mistral Codestral model is faring really well on acceptable, very hard level JavaScript coding challenges overall though. Let's try one more to validate that. Here's another function based hard problem. Let's give it a shot and everything passed on all test cases. I haven't seen many other coding language models consistently pass all test cases like this for JavaScript very hard level problems before. Codestral is performing incredibly well in my experience so far. As always, I really like what Mistral is doing. They consistently put out inspiring high quality AI model work in this space. Definitely check out their new Codestral offering if you get a chance. It's an impressive, release. All right, that's it from me for now on the Codestral demo. I'll see you all in the next video. Until next time, keep inspiring. See ya.